Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. Today's video is going to be a fasting video and I don't clean fast. Just like my keto, I like it dirty. So I do dirty keto and dirty fasting. My eating window today will be around two hours long and I personally like my eating window at night. I am a nighttime snacker, nighttime eater. So I like mine in the evening, nighttime hours, usually around six or seven and then my two hours after that. So if you have no idea what dirty fasting is, I did a video on that. I'll link that up there in the cards and I'll try my best to remember to link it in the description box for you so you can go check that out if you're just interested on what dirty fasting is. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so every time I upload, you'll be the first to know. I do grocery hauls, I do Sam's Club hauls. We do lots of keto related stuff on this channel. I'll have my Instagram name right here for you guys so you can go there and check me out if you wanna see before and after pictures kitchen renovations, pet photos, lots going on over there. I do post on Instagram daily. I also have a Facebook group, which is getting ready to hit 19,000 members. That's a lot of people, a lot of people. So if you're doing low carb, if you're doing keto, lazy or dirty, you might like it over there. Strict keto, maybe not, especially if you are the keto police, don't go over there. You're gonna hate it. So if you're looking for encouragement and support, I will link the Facebook group in the description box. So you just click on that, it'll take you right on over. It's an amazing group again, you're gonna love it. In today's video, I do get my lab work back. If you watched my last video, I had a medical issue and had to go to the doctor. The doctor blamed my whole problems on keto. Everything that's going on in my life was keto related, basically. No. I did get my lab work back, so we will discuss that and I'm gonna show you it. It's a shocker, it's pretty devastating. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Just wait till the middle of the video and you're gonna see what I mean. So before we get started, let me go ahead and share with you that Perfect Keto is having their Labor Day sale. That is September 4th through the 9th, and it is a tiered sale. So if you buy two items, you're gonna get 15% off. You buy three, you're gonna get 20% off. Four, 25% off, and five or more is the deal of the day. You are gonna save 35%. My suggestion, stock up on the collagen because they never go on sale. My favorite are the chocolate and the salted caramel, especially right now, salted caramel with all your pumpkin spice flavors, delicious. Everyone needs collagen, whether you're doing keto or not, for hair, skin, nails, and joints. I also love the peach base. It and the chocolate are my two favorites. And if you're looking for a clean snack, right here are two of the best ones Perfect Keto has. They're nut butters. My favorite is the almond butter and jelly and these cookies. These peanut butter cookies, you don't know what you're missing. If you have not tried these cookies, you are missing the best cookie you have ever eaten, keto or not. So I'm gonna link the sale in the description box so you can just click on it, it'll take you on over and you can go see everything that Perfect Keto has to offer. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. I think this morning I'm gonna go with one of the Power Punch again. I'm gonna have to pick up some different flavors at Walmart. A lot of people are asking me what these are. These are just the caffeine free bangs. I did find those at Vitamin Shop back when they had that sale ages ago. I think it was like last November. We're probably going on a year. May need to check the expiration date on those. There's a distinct difference in the taste. Not just the fact that it's missing caffeine, but honestly, I can taste a difference in these. Still homeschooling. So I went ahead and got all of her stuff laid out for today. So when she does get up, we can just go ahead and sit down at the table and get it started and be done with it. Massively full dumpster. <laughs> this is everything that's come out of the kitchen. Let me take you around there and we'll see what's going on. The wood has been delivered for the floor. Danger, literally nothing to stand on. So the chimney has been torn out now. It is day 11, I believe. Day 11 of Groundhog Day with no kitchen. <laughs> so that chimney over there is gone now. We still have fans set up in here making sure everything's dry because it was saturated. Um, they're starting to put the plastic down to keep a moisture barrier between the ground and the house when they put the wood down, the new floors. When I said it was gonna be completely gutted, I was not lying. It is completely gutted. Hi, Mittens. Hi, girl. What are you doing? 
You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Before I get fully started this morning, I'm gonna have to go back in and get a coat. It's a little chilly out. But I do wanna say this. I want you to know that any products that I mention in these videos, I'm just giving you my opinion and a quick review of those and letting you know the things we like. You do not need any of these items on your keto journey. You can do it without these, 100%. You can do it without them on a low carb diet, on a keto diet. I just want you to know my thoughts and opinions. So like I said, we're filming early this morning. It's like between 7.30 and 8 before anybody gets here. Because once everybody gets here, it gets loud. You've seen in my other videos, it's so loud. So let's go ahead and crack open the bang. Hopefully I'll wake up. Not been sleeping that great. I'm almost out of bang. Um, we had bought all of the ones that you are still seeing when Vitamin Shop had that sale. I'm pretty sure it was back last November. We probably bought, I don't know, 60 cases of them. It was crazy. Okay, maybe not 60, but we bought a lot. Um, and where I usually, sorry, I'm going to rub my face like all morning because I'm still trying to wake up. Where I take long periods of time and go without drinking them because caffeine, migraine triggers, and all this other stuff, they last forever. But I'm on my last probably case at this point. I don't even think I have a case. Maybe if I mixed and matched them all up, I'd have a case. So I don't think I'm going to buy a case again. I'm not sure. I was thinking maybe just go to Walmart and pick up a different, couple different flavors so that I'm not always drinking the same thing. Although, don't get me wrong, I am a creature of habit, and we've talked about this before. I could eat and drink the same things every single day, probably for the rest of my life, as long as it's my favorites, of course. And the Power Punch is definitely one of my favorites. It's sort of like a tropical punch. That's what it tastes like if you hadn't tasted this one and I love it. I don't think this morning I'm gonna drink the whole thing. I may save half of it for around lunchtime when things get hairy. I look extremely puffy. I'm noticing that I'm getting circles under my eyes again. I don't think I'm drinking enough fluid or maybe it's just the fact that all the stress with the kitchen and um, it's just constantly something. It's like we learn, okay, the plumbing needs to be redone. The electrical needs to be redone. The room above the kitchen is Kerrigan's bedroom, and now she has a crack going down her wall. So the contractor is going to check that out today because it has me worried that it is obviously a foundation problem or something. Hopefully, it's just the drywall has split where they're pulling all of this down, all the drywall down in here, and it's just caused the drywall to split. But of course, in my head, I'm thinking <laughs> the second floor is getting ready to come down. You know, it's going to come down on top of us. That's what I'm thinking because we've talked about the fact that I'm chicken little and I'm always like, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. So we did pick out a sink i posted a picture of it on instagram it's absolutely gorgeous i'm in love with it i'm pretty excited about a sink you know you're old when you get excited about a sink i'll take you into chris's um workshop in a minute when we get done and i'll let you see what it looks like okay i've been struggling i have not been fasting the last couple of days there's been so much going on with my health and doctor's visits and blood work and CT scans and just trying to get that information back. Seriously, it, it's just been a lot. Hopefully, I'm going to get all of that back by this evening and I'm going to be able to tell you the results, my lab work and the CT scan results. It may take longer. I'm not sure. It, it's just everything's taken forever. But if you didn't watch my last video, I was passing blood in my urine and it sort of freaked me out a little bit because my mom has kidney issues. We've talked about this before. So when I started passing blood in my urine that morning, by that evening, I went to a, a walk-in clinic because that's all we have here is walk-in clinics. We don't have just like, here's your general practitioner and you know like it used to be 20 years ago now it's just all walk-in clinics and that's all there is everywhere you never see the same doctor they never have all the same information on you you don't have that closeness with a doctor so it was frustrating she told me basically you have a kidney stone it's because you're on keto um 
there's nothing I can do for you. When you start feeling pain, go to the emergency room and they'll give you fluids to flush out the kidney stone and they'll give you pain meds. I was like, you have to be kidding me. I mean, me and this, me and this doctor, nurse practitioner, whatever she was, I can't remember. I'm sorry, I was like livid at the time because I knew I didn't have a kidney stone. I've heard the horror stories and they're like, if you have a kidney stone, you will know you have a kidney stone because you are going to be in excruciating pain. And by the time the blood shows up in your urine, it's because you, you're already passing the kidney stone. You know how this works, I'm sure. So I knew I didn't have a kidney stone. We're talking days later and still nothing. I'm, I'm not in any pain, none, no back pain no pain when I urinate, no, no nothing. So it's not a kidney stone, people, and it's not keto related. She's like, well, you're on a high protein diet and strawberries and broccoli and all of those foods cause kidney stones. So it's because you're on keto. I am still so livid over that fact. I mean, I'm still fussing about it and I know everybody in my household is tired of hearing about it. First, I do not have a kidney stone. Second, it's not because of keto. So frustrating. Okay, I'm not gonna keep raining on about that, but hopefully I'm gonna have some of this lab work back by today. We're talking days and days and days later and I'm still like, nothing, crickets, what's going on? Are you gonna call me and let me know what you found? Because it's obviously not a kidney stone. I know the point that I was getting at there. I'd stopped fasting because of what was going on and I'm a stress eater. So I had several slip ups this past week. Um, I had some chips, I had some candy. What else did I have? We stopped and got something. I have not ate in probably three years. I ate a Whopper and I didn't even eat a whole Whopper. I couldn't even eat the whole Whopper. I ate like a half Whopper. But I have not ate a Whopper from Burger King in so long. First of all, they're not near as good as I remember, you know, like 50, 60 pounds ago, but they smell as good as I remember. It smelled so good. But yeah, I've been stressing out over what is going to show up on that CT scan. Cause like in my head, chicken little syndrome, remember the sky is falling. I'm thinking all the bad things. I've been filling in that void with stress eating like I always do. That's just the way I am. So I've not been fasting any. I've got back into fasting today and there's no sense in worrying about something and self-sabotaging myself and eating all these bad foods and feeling like crap and having these circles under my eyes and feeling puffy and, you know, feeling stiff and all that stuff. It's not worth it to worry about something that we don't even have any information on yet. So back to fasting today, getting back on track, not going to let this control me and it's okay. I just want to let you guys know it's okay. It happens all the time. There's always going to be these setbacks. Sometimes we're going to give in to our food issues. You know, there are worse alternatives. Believe me, there are worse things you could be doing than eating. Just get back on track. Don't let this turn into like a two month thing. We can do it. I'm going to do it with all the stress going on in my life, with the construction, having no kitchen, <laughs> medical issues right now, homeschooling. We got a lot of stress on us people. We all always do. It's always gonna be something. So just get right back on to keto or dirty fasting. And remember, we can do this. We're in this together. We got the group over on Facebook. We've got the Instagram you can come join me on. We've got all that. We're gonna to stick together. We're gonna to push through. We've got this. So now that I've sit and rubbed my face like crazy and probably have a 45 minute long chat in here. I'm gonna skedaddle on over here and show you our kitchen sink. And then I'll probably drink the rest of this, do some homeschooling. I probably need to take a shower. Well, let me show you the kitchen sink real quick. Here it is. I don't think you guys can see it. I'm gonna have to rotate it. Can you see that? Boom, there it is. Is that not gorgeous? and see how the granite's gonna go over top of it so we can just scoop stuff in. Okay, so this is the best I can do. Just got the camera turned sideways. But it has these like ellipse on it right here or these grooves and so you can put a cutting board there. And Chris does a ton of woodwork. And I already told him that 
every single season or holiday I expect a themed cutting board to put here and we're both extremely excited so this is the one we picked up I got it at Lowe's okay it's 10 30 and I lied I drank that entire bang because it got crazy at my house with the contractor electrician everything going on but I got a call that my blood works in, so I'm gonna run down and get that. And I picked up a Powerade Zero out of the refrigerator because I'm dying of thirst. So this morning I've already had an entire bang. That's why I'm talking a million miles a minute. And now I'm having a Powerade. I've not even had a chance to take my shower yet and the power is going on and off at my house. I am literally like sweating. It's um, 90 degrees already at 10 something, 10 30, 10 40. But look what I got. My blood work. So let's see. Okay, let's start out with the good news. My B12, which has been so low in the past it wouldn't even register, is good. It is normal. <laughs> My ferritin, on the other hand, critically low. I'm not in the mood. I just don't feel like I have time to get iron infusions right now with everything going on. Well, this is just wah, wah, very discouraging. I find it odd that she said um, I probably have a kidney stone because of keto, because I'm on a high protein diet, yet my protein is low at 6.3. It should be 6.4. So in my opinion, my protein's normal. Mm, that's not why. I came outside to sit and get some peace and quiet. Just relax, try to recenter. I'm gonna go ahead and drink an entire bottle of water. This is the 16 ounce bottle of waters. And I'm going to go ahead and take some of my Equip supplements. We've talked about these in the past, so I really don't need to go over them, but they are keto friendly. And that's what you want to look for, something that doesn't have a lot of carbs in it if you take supplements. Right now I'm going to take my apple cider vinegar and also my immune support booster. If you're watching this video on Monday, know that they are having a Labor Day sale that is getting ready to end soon. And their capsules are 40% off their already low discounted price. So it is a great time to stock up. If you're interested in equipped supplements like their capsules and things like that, I'll have them linked below for you so you can check out that discount. But yeah, don't want to miss this one. 40% off of their capsules makes these far more affordable than if you went anywhere else. And you know it's a company you can trust because they are a keto friendly company. Okay, I did manage to clean up. I wasn't expecting to do another little chat, but I thought some of you might be interested in the lab work because I didn't really go over it in much detail. This lab work is horrific and it explains a lot. I have some fatigue, some shortness of breath, a lot of bruising, not sleeping the best, hence the reason I'm taking my capsules at night. Just a lot going on. And that is because I am having iron issues again, strictly due to gastric bypass. This has nothing whatsoever to do with keto. I just want you guys to know that. I had gastric bypass in 2006, and ever since then, I have not been able to absorb iron and a lot of other vitamins as well as I should because they bypassed a large section of my intestines. For me personally, gastric bypass was a huge mistake, but that is a, video for another time. It is probably one of the biggest regrets I have in my life because it has caused me personally so many issues. If you've had the surgery and had amazing success and no issues, congratulations. I am so happy for you, but no reason to bash me just because my own personal opinion of gastric bypass has been negative. And this is why. So I have in the past had to have blood transfusions, iron infusions, been in the hospital, I just don't absorb the things that I need anymore. No vitamin in the world is going to give me the iron that I need. Let's talk about these really quick. My red blood cell, white blood cell, normal, so no infections going on there. My hemoglobin, my hematocrit, all of those were abnormal because they are low. You saw um, my ferritin, which is less than one, so pretty much like not even registering at this point. It is considered critically low on the paperwork. Uh, my B12 was great. I have had a horrible B12 in the past. It wouldn't even register. If your B12 is low, it makes you feel like you're going crazy. Does that make sense? It's like you can't think. It is not a good thing. So do not let your B12 get low. My saturation for um, another thing that they gauge iron by is really low. 
And let's see, well, of course, my iron is low. It's supposed to be between 40 and 190, and it's at 17. Uh, let's see, what else? Is that it? That was basically the gist of it that I wanted to tell you guys. Everything else looks good. Bun, creatine, glucose, all of those things look absolutely wonderful. Great news. It's just the iron that I'm going to have to take care of. So I've already called my hematologist and set up an appointment. They will bring me in and do some more tests and set up an appointment. And I'm going to probably have to go in for several iron infusions, which take me up to three hours a day because only a specific iron infusion works on me. And of course, it is the one that is most dangerous um, because you can have an allergic reaction to it. Um, but the short ones, the short, quick iron infusions don't work on me. I just don't absorb them either. They will probably do three. I'm not sure yet. We'll just have to see. I've still not got the CT results in yet, but we're talking several days at this point. So you guys know it obviously wasn't a kidney stone. <laughs> and this issue is not from keto. So... When I get the CT results back, I will update you guys in another video. I'll let you know everything that's going on. I just really don't have time to spend all these hours getting iron, but it's my own fault. It's, it's my own issue. I let it get this bad, but honestly, I don't feel horrible. <laughs> but I know I'm gonna feel so much better once I get my iron up. Okay, that's all I wanted to talk about really quick. Make the girls chicken salad for lunch. They'll either put it on all the bread or wraps. This is just the chicken that I pick up at Sam's. It's just white meat chicken. It is the large cans. All I add to that is Duke's mayo because there's no sugar added and the Mount Olive Sweet Relish because it's also no sugar added. I think it is sweetened with sucralose. Yeah, so it's sweetened with sucralose. So Kerrigan did just make a chicken salad wrap. She used one of the Olay high fiber carb lean wraps. And then she also has some of the huevos chips. We ordered these in bulk. This is the huevos, they're the egg white chips. This one is the sour cream and onion. This entire bag right there has a four net carbs. It is even made with a good oil, avocado oil. It is keto friendly. We love these. My favorite flavor is the dill, but Kerrigan likes them all. These are delicious. I usually have a discount code down below if you want them. We like these better than the Quest chips. These have so much more flavor, love them. Briley's lunch, same wrap. She just has a half. It does have Duke's mayo in here, boar's head turkey, and some cheese, the Colby Jack that I pick up at Aldi, and a pickle. So that's what she's having. Let's talk about one of my new favorite combos. I haven't brought this to you guys yet. I've been trying it out for a while. This is Key Nutrients Electrolytes, and this flavor is peach mango. I had a leg cramp last night, so I'm gonna throw some electrolytes in today. And what I do is I mix these two together, the perfect keto base, which is an exogenous ketone. It's gonna give me energy. It's gonna help me extend my fast. It helps with mental focus, which ugh, my mind has just been so foggy lately. This does so much. Plus it does contain electrolytes and magnesium. You all already know I love the base. The peach is my favorite because I can just mix it with a little bit of water and take it. I also like the chocolate so that I can mix it with like my frappuccinos, my iced coffees, things like that. But these two in combination are amazing. Unfortunately, I don't have a discount code for key nutrients, but I do have them linked below. If you wanna go check them out, they do have a ton of flavors. This is their newest one. And the combination, of course, peach, mango, and peach. So here's what I do. I just take a 16 ounce bottle of water. So check out the littlest scoop known to man. That's what's in your key nutrients container. And I did mention that this is zero everything, right? Zero calories, zero carbs, zero sugar, zero caffeine. Now, I'm gonna take some of my perfect Keto Base, but instead of using the massive scoop that's in here, because I never take a full scoop of base anyways, I'm gonna be using this key nutrient scoop. And when this is empty, I'm gonna be moving this scoop over to my peach base because that is a lot of base and I never use it. So I'm just gonna take some of my peach base, about that much, and I'm gonna do the same thing, try to get in this bottle of water. Okay, got it all in here and this is what it looks like before I shake it up. So here's what I got going on. This, the key nutrients, zero calories. Remember to zero carbs, nothing in it. 
and it's got a ton of supplements and electrolytes in it. So hopefully gonna help with that leg cramp. Perfect Keto Base does have magnesium in it and other things to help with, you know, leg cramps like electrolytes. It has sodium, calcium, and magnesium. I didn't take the full scoop, so I'm not getting the 15 calories that's in a full scoop since I probably took about a third of a scoop. We're gonna go with five calories, when you think. So that's what is in this today. And your main goal, again, remember, is to stay under 50 calories when you drink something. Okay, so tonight for dinner, I'm gonna put these chicken breast tenderloins on the grill. I'm gonna add some seasonings, and I think we're gonna be making some nachos. We are getting ready to put the chicken on the grill. I just wanted to show you that the seasoning I use is the Dax Spices, and this one is Taco Night. What we'll do is when I put the chicken on here, we'll just sprinkle some of this on top. So when I make my nachos, I'm just using the Mission's Carb Lean Tortilla Shells. I take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, I pour it over my tortilla shell, and then I use a little silicone brush that I pick up at Dollar Tree. I rub it all over the tortilla shell, and then I flip it and do it on the other side. So I personally like both sides coated with some oil. Once I get that done, I just take a pizza cutter and I just cut it like I would a pizza so that these are going to be shaped like little triangles. And then I'm just gonna layer these in a single layer in my air fryer. Turn them on, I'm gonna leave them on 350 between five and six. Kerrigan likes them crispier, so for her I go with six. Briley doesn't, so I usually go with fives. But just whatever crispiness you like. That's it. Easy tortilla, chips, for nachos, for cheese, guacamole, whatever you need them for. While the air fryer is going, I go ahead and get all of our toppings out. This is the white cheese dip that I pick up at Sam's. It's so good. We'll also put a little bit of Fiesta cheese on there because hey, cheese, cheese, more cheese makes everything better. I got out the jalapeno pepper slices for Chris. I got these at Aldi. Also got out this Chipotle taco sauce in case he wants any of that. We also have the Chipotle lime salsa. I picked this one up at Aldi. It's organic, no sugar added, so this one's really good. And I'm thinking what I'll do is make Briley a chicken and cheese quesadilla in the toaster, and I'll add a little bit of this Chipotle sauce. This is definitely dirty keto, but I use this when I make her quesadillas because it tastes like Taco Bell. So, see, I think it's like two tablespoons is quite a bit of carbs, but we only use a few little bitty dollops on hers. I'll show you how I make it. Of course, you can add whatever toppings you want to your nachos, lettuce, tomatoes, whatever you can think of, whatever you can dream of, go. Especially if this is your only meal of the day and you're doing Omad like me. There's what they look like when they're done, and I just put them on a plate and put the next tortilla chips in there and get started. Really quick, I'm gonna throw together four jalapeno poppers. I'm just gonna cut these in half and seed them. In here I have cream cheese, cheese, and bacon. I'm just gonna mix together. Once I get these seeded, I'm going to obviously put this mixture inside here. I'll put it in the toaster oven till it's done because nobody's gonna eat these except for me and Chris, so I don't wanna make too many because right now my refrigerator's full. Okay, jalapeno poppers are in. I just have to mention this. These are the hottest jalapenos I have ever picked up at Aldi in my life. I accidentally touched my face. My lips are swollen and on fire, and so is my mouth. For Briley's quesadilla, all I do was take one of the low-carb shells. I sprinkled some of the cheese on here. I'm gonna take the Taco Bell sauce, which is the Chipotle sauce, and put just a little on here, not too much. And then I'm also gonna put some shredded chicken. Okay, I've got everything on here. So what you do is you fold it like this, and then you just fold it in the middle like this, here is your quesadilla. We're gonna put it in the toaster. Yes, the toaster. So all I'm gonna do is put it in there just like that. Put this down and let it toast it up and let the cheese melt. And there is what the quesadilla looks like when it comes out of the toaster. And then I will also give Briley a little bit of this white cheese so she can dip it in because cheese, cheese, and more cheese. Okay, chips are done, chicken's done, everything's done, so just assemble the nachos the way you want. I like to personally put my chips down in a single layer, then I like to put my white cheese over so that all these chips 
soak up this white cheese. So I've added cheese, the white cheese of course, and some chicken, and now I'm gonna add some more cheese. Okay, I just opened up the deli sliced hot jalapeno peppers that I picked up at Aldi and I was getting ready to add them. I let Chris taste of them first and he said they are extremely spicy. I added some more chicken and I think I'm going to use what's left of the Taco Bell Chipotle sauce on this because I'm like Riley. I just love the flavor of this. Okay, here's what my nachos look like. I came outside so you guys could see better. It's a little dark in my dining room with the kitchen blocked off. You can add whatever you want to these. Oh, I did want to mention that I did add three jalapenos. Uh, we'll see how it goes. And one jalapeno popper. So along with the dinner, I am having water to drink. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes since dinner and I'm actually ready for a snack. I picked up these big pepperoni slices at Walmart the other day. So a serving of these is one carb. I picked this up at Aldi. This is gourmet spreadable cheese, smoky jalapeno. Three tablespoons of this is two net carbs. What I'm gonna do is take these big pepperonis. I'm going to slather some of the spreadable cheese on here. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of this everything but the bagel seasoning on that and then roll them up. You know what, I can even put like a pickle or olive or something in here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Does that not look absolutely amazing? It smells <laughs> so good. There's what I got going on. This stuff is delicious. I'm going to stockpile it next time I go to Aldi. <laughs> Turns out I may end up being a little obsessed with these jalapeno pieces from Aldi too. So I took the jalapenos, chopped those up and put it on two of them. And then over here, I took one of the atomic spicy pickles, chopped it in half. Now I'm just gonna roll these up. Okay, there's what they look like all rolled up. I'm gonna go have a low carb snack. Somebody's already ready for bed, other than me. Yes, I'm wore out, I am ready to go to bed. It's just been a long, frustrating day. Again, I will update you all in a future video. I'm gonna turn the bed back, turn the TV on, and just not think about anything that's going on. But first I gotta move Quincy and I'm gonna take one of my CBD infused deep sleep capsules. I'm gonna lay down and grab me a snack and watch TV. Are you guys nighttime eaters? I have to have a snack at night when I'm watching TV. It's just what I do. I think tonight Chris and I are going to split one of these. This is the perfect keto cookies. These are my favorite. We've talked about these a bazillion times in the past. It's the peanut butter ones. They have several different flavors. Peanut butter, in my opinion, is by far the best. Each one of these has two net carbs. These are a soft batch cookie. <laughs> Hi, Quincy. Hi, Quincy. So I'm gonna eat one of these, probably drink a little bit of a Powerade. In case you've not seen them, let me show you what they look like. There's my cookie. See, it's a soft batch. It's really thick. It is sweetened with allulose in case you have issues with allulose. I don't. This one is not grainy. I do not like one that's grainy. Look at that. Oh, they're so good. These are by far the best keto cookie out there. And I eat a lot of these throughout the week. We go through a lot of these cookies, I must admit. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Check out some more of my other keto related videos and make sure you subscribe because I'd love to have you here. I'll see you next time. Bye.